Hi there, I'm Ithio for Phonedar and this is the review of the Leeco Super TV. Leeco has launched three new smart televisions in India, all of which will come with inbuilt Wi-Fi, ensuring that you can easily cast the content through the internet. The 55 inches TV comes with a price of 60,000 rupees, while the one which we are reviewing here is the 65 inches one, which comes at a price of 1 lakh rupees. While the next model, which comes with 3D, cost 1.5 lakhs. All of these models have 4K panels and if you have 1080p or lower content, the content would be automatically upscaled and uh, showcased the same. First of all, let's talk about the user interface. A simple and very easy to access UI that uh, though one problem is that once you restart the TV, you move back to the main screen instead of resuming from where you started. And that's where I think the TV's remote needs a smart sleep mode function. Moving on to the content, which is set up into ma three major sections. The first one is a regular TV that connects to your network like uh, Dish TV or your Atel. And that's where you can watch the regular TV content. The second one is the replica of your TV, but the content is seeded through the internet through the Yep TV broad application. Over time, we found that this is the second best application on the TV because the content plays without any buffer and the app works perfectly and finally is the app section which has an array of different applications and features starting off with the DVD app that's powered by Eros now content showing you the latest movies all of them in full HD though they have been upscaled beautifully giving you a feel of 4k content this is one of the partnership that makes it worth buying this television once out of the DVD app you have the store browser and few of the system tools apart from the applications you can download from the internet or side load them or you can down directly install them from the app store itself we tried and tested a few applications like the GeoFi, Netflix that worked like a charm, though not initially but after their recent firmware updates, most of the software issues have been fixed. If you notice on the Netflix application too, we have been getting these errors but we cannot blame Lyco here because uh, this is not a pre-installed application. And since there is no Google Play Store uh, application pre-installed, we did try to install it but got a lot of errors and had to side load it. Though since this is an Android TV, they should have offered an option of uh, giving the Play Store pre-installed. The panel pretty much accurately showcases the content and in terms of contrast they did a pretty good job and you get different modes uh, wherein you can switch from the soft, vivid, sports, movie to gaming mode depending on which you can see the real time changes. Again these are all presets and you could customize the same though we think Samsung leads in this area but don't forget that they come at a price. The TV's remote is perfect with not many options though you could also use the Lyco smartphone which comes with an IR blaster to control the TV and go ahead with the inputs from the options of using a mouse or a keyboard. Talking about the TV design, the TV is amazingly thin and out of excitement we did the unboxing and the stand mounting ourselves. Which is where we realized that we may end up breaking it considering the large form factor. Though once it was wall mounted, you're all sorted. While on the back you have two USB ports, out of which one of them is USB 3.1. We did insert a Logitech webcam on this port and we were able to quickly capture photos from the camera application that came pre-installed. Apart from that, you can also make use of the three HDMI inputs where you can plug in your Android TV or else your AMKit uh, or else your Google Chromecast or any other device which you can easily use. And we were able to connect the USB pen drives and our hard drives and we were able to play most of the regular file formats like the MP4, DAT, MKV and which is a good thing for most of the users. In terms of the pricing, this is one of the best television panels for the price considering that you get a super large uh, 65 inch TV at less than 1 lakh rupees. In terms of the comparison, Sony's similar TV cost 3.5 lakh, while Samsung's TV cost 2.4 lakhs, and the closest competitor we saw was Wu, which cost 1.2 lakhs at this moment. This is where you need to take the call because Lyco isn't just another brand since they have many of the products under the portfolio starting from smartphones to even electronic cars and uh, the free licensed content does add up a lot of value for the money you spent here. Overall a good product that you can purchase. If you think this review of the Lyco TV is useful for you then don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and share it with your friends and share subscribed. This is Amit and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you.